Good evening, neonates. JB Illusion here, back with the new adventures of Dawn, the Megalomaniac Bruja. Last we left our hero, she'd been making her way through Alistair Grout's mansion to give him a message to maybe, you know, have his house and then sale asylum in two different locations. It's been kind of nuts. His patients have gotten out and they're armed with knives and just a whole lot of bad intentions. Now, this, I feel like Alistair Grout also is moonlighting as a super villain because this is a little, this is a little much. Tesla coils are kind of, you know, old school. I, I can understand that. I do not know, I don't think Dawn's actually going to be able to shoot her way out of this. She's going to have to think her way out of this. So, pulling random levers, let's go. Okay, there's one. Okay, we can go under here. Up, 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 watch it, watch it, love, watch it this way. What do we have here? A uh, taro thing? What the heck is that? A uh, frenzy check modifier. Let's read that for a second. The taro thing. This heavy fang could only have belonged to a ferocious predatory beast. You feel at ease knowing there's one less of those in the world. Decreases your chance of frenzy. Oh, so it makes you feel all happy inside. The better question is, was that gentleman a werewolf? And did Alistair Grout lock him in here? I don't know. But we're going to hit this. Okay. Okay, now we just need to make our way this way. There we go. See? It's, it's a problem that even Dawn can solve. <laughs> it's something even she can take care of. Okay. Oh, okay, well, we're going to hit the last one, I feel, regardless or no. There we go. Or, you know what? We're safe. We're thorough. What is... Okay. Well, we're getting somewhere. Well, all right. We got one experience. We somehow managed to navigate our way past the Tesla coils. Good job, Dawn. Now, she just might have to shoot a couple more people. Okay, now. I gotta be real with you people. This place is just creepy. Like, it makes so much sense that this is a Malkavian's home. I love it. But in the same way, I just kind of want to get out of here. Dawn, I'm pretty sure, is freaked out. Well, less freaked out than me. She's looking forward to popping the next would-be test subject in the face. Or previous patient in the face. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there may have been some stuff changed with this. So we'll see how it works out, y'all. Because I feel like it could only get creepier. All right. Okay, like like the maniac, the maniacal laughter, like for real. Do we have to do this today? Can't we just all be friends with bullets? Okay, how many bullets does she have left? Seven. So we've got nine in the chamber, and we've got seven left over for a reload. Okay, there's one there. Come on, come on, line up, dog. Okay, he ran. He ran. He ran. He ran. Here he comes. Good. Crap. Well, we ran out of bullets pretty quick. No, we still got seven. All right, there's one, and we've got four more. We can take out another with four more. All right. And, of course, I waste that last bullet. Dawn, Dawn got a little overzealous there. What do we have left? Of course we have the Colt Peacemaker. Classic. And that's probably our best gun. Guess it can hold the most ammo. Now, which way is she coming from? Ah, uh, she didn't know where to go. Her head's a little... little messed up, y'all. Up. Oh. There we go. I need to stop double tapping. These aren't zombies, these are humans. Double tapping is a little bit overboard. What do we got around here, Dawn? Like, there there should be something. Wow. He was very serious about his work. What is... What do we have here? There was something... What? Okay, it's on the floor? Or... Laboratory key. Okay. Wait, it's a laboratory refrigerator key. Hmm. What would a vampire keep in the fridge? 
Hopefully blood. I hope it's blood. If it's not blood, I'll be a little upset. Okay, there's the fridge. Is there anything else actually kind of... Whoa! So, the fact that Alistair Grout thought that, you know, he was doing science in here. But then again, some actual ridiculous scientific discoveries have been made in some very unseemly places under very unseemly conditions. Let's just open this up and see what's inside. Do we have blood? We've got boxes. Gotta love those boxes. And we have blood. One regular blood pack. And we've got some elder. Okay. Did we get... How many blood packs did we get? We got three normal blood packs and two of the elder. That's good stuff. Alright. So we should be okay for a while. I mean, they gave us enough people to feed off of. And we shouldn't have that much of an issue, but then again, maybe a Toreador who's not very good at grabbing people might have had a problem. But then again, in Dawn's mind, you could always just soften them up with bullets. That's what they're there for, of course. Okay, she's getting shot. Okay. Dawn, you need to get a little less... Really? Okay, come over here. Now... Really? See? That was a bad time. And there was another one. Let's go up the stairs, Don. And we're gonna go under here just to protect ourselves. She's not running. She's she's just She's just using tactics. <laughs> like a dirty cami. Okay. What what's up? What's up? He's using tactics like a dirty cami. She does work for the friends. And keeping herself alive, alive is the important part. Okay. Okay, that is mostly Dawn's, by the way. Nice. That is a situation I don't feel bad for double tapping. Alright, let's open. Dawn, crouch down. Get these shots ready, girl. Okay, get your back up against something, love. Can't open that. It's locked. Okay. Now, this is where it really looks like an insane asylum. What do we got? No scraps of paper. No, no. Hey, morphine! Because it makes you feel better. <laughs> Just makes a little bit of that pain go away. Oh, see, now that's nuts. Also, there are some interesting studies that involve uh, flashing lights. And if you're in an area with constantly uh, flickering lights, it has a negative effect on your mental health. Or something like that. There's some weird... Some very interesting studies. Why someone would do that, I don't know. It's kind of like that jail experiment. That they did quite a while back. Where they gave guards power... And they made certain people, you know, ordinary guards. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good grief. We're already down to 83 bullets, 77 bolts. That's actually quite terrible. Nope. I am loving Dawn. Oh, this is actually pretty sad. So, the person that, that kind of looks like, hold on, can we, can we grab him? He kind of looks like, no, not that. He kind of looks like the guy who's in charge of the blood bank. Hmm. Reuse asset, or maybe a secret twin brother. We'll never know. Although I don't put past him. This is the twin mom loves best to the insane, the insane, the insane, whoa, okay. Well then, let's, let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. But there have been some ridiculous experiments in the past. Okay, and... Taking care of that. What bugs me out is, do you guys think that these are normal patients, or have they been slightly, somehow either experimented on Al by Alistair Grout? Have they been giving a little bit of the blood? Or are they just so strong because they're crazy? Inquiring minds, people. Okay, we're good in here. All right, we're good. 
Gotta check everyone. Is this a secret passageway? Ah, oh, it looks like a secret passageway. I wouldn't put it past Alistair Grout. Does he maybe... Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Like, I'm thinking one of these, you, you just pull it down ever so slightly, and the secret door opened up, opens up. Alright. Crouch. Open the door. There's a rat. Isn't there supposed to be a guy who, like, gnawed his arm off down here or something? Oh, dude. <laughs> and see it for a second. Like, like the reticle, the, the crosshairs turned red. I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to shoot you, right? I'm trying to eat you. And then I see that thing in our face. So I guess that was the one who may or may not know. This is the guy who probably gnawed his arm off. Sorry, bro. Had a bad day. I also lost the other rat. I can't feel bad about that. Okay, let's get up here. Jump. Okay, so we gotta... Oh! Okay, so hop on this. Move over here. Hop on this. Move up here. Hop on this. Dang it. Get back here! No! Okay, that was a little... That was a little sad. Eh? But it's alright, we'll get back up. Just gotta... Hop over here, get up here, get me over here. American Gladiator style, y'all, or Ninja Warrior style. To those who have never seen American Gladiator, actually Google it. It was it, it was kind of a crazy show. I'm actually surprised it lasted as long as it did, given the high chances of people getting hurt. The voices have increased in frequency and direction. Because you're crazy. I'm thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus to the voices. Hmm. Okay, also, that's cream soda, y'all. But what's interesting is, I, I talked about the Malkavian's um, founder. The Malkavian's founder, you know, tried to see beyond the veil of reality. And he did succeed, but he went mad. But a lot of Malkavians supposedly are connected to a network where they just feel certain things. They, they feel certain presences. They know before, they know when things are going to happen. They, they just know. A lot of people consider it madness, but when their mad ravings turn true, usually they're turned into viziers or court appointed. They, they have a higher place in the Camarilla as kind of the right hand to the venture, the venture or the venture, however you, however you pronounce that. Sometimes they, they have those positions just because they may see a vision that could save the Camarilla or at least the prince's life. So I'm assuming Grout has been dealing with a vampire, and he's been going slightly mental. The voices, the, the Madness Network is trying to tell him something, and apparently he just didn't go with it. I am no longer because he thinks he's sane. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. Interesting. Hmm. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain. Not good. For their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. 
The cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. Whoa. The mansion was constructed with security in mind. But at that time, I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. Mm. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche. Dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Macabre and formless? That really doesn't, well, macabre basically speaks to all of kindred society, but formless. There are a couple vampires who could change their shape. I mean, Gangrel are really well known for that, but I don't know. That's interesting. Let's, oh, is that a brain? That's a toy? It's a toy with some horns. Uh, blood? Well, I could un- Whoa, okay. Okay, no, that was just- that was just that. That's his wife. Okay, so he's trying to bring her back like Mr. Freeze. A really creepy choice of music for his wife, but hey. Each his own. She's turning like a doll? Okay. Okay. At least we can get through now. I feel like if he was trying to protect himself from vampires, he would go a little, you know, harder on... Oh, that's them when they got married. Okay. A lovely rose and a stopwatch. Or, um, a pocket watch. Well... He's a little crazy, but maybe his heart's in the right place, like Mr. Freeze. Except for the fact that he's kidnapped so many people, probably driven them insane, just to hopefully bring his dead wife back, or at least understand more about the vampiric condition that pertains to Malkavia. Oh! No. He's done. He got staked. Um, a stake doesn't necessarily kill you, but a stake will immobilize you so someone can kill you. Uh. Whoa. Okay. Alright, that's, that ain't good. That was a bomb. Is there anything in here that we need to take? Dawn, preoccupied with robbing stuff. Is there anything of value? Not that it looks like. We should probably get up out of here now. Open the door and... I'm not Grout. You already killed him. He didn't kill Grout? Now you're starting to piss me off. Wait until I get under there. No, no. Dawn's confused. Wait, wait, wait. Let's discuss this. Oh. Okay. But... How's he know about the Kuroi? Is this the Faustian bargain that Grat was talking about? Did he dime out the vampires? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna breaking out the shotgun because I don't really like this entire situation. I don't like the fact that you know there's monsters on fire. Ah, oh, this is bull. Oh. This sucks. Let's let's get get open the open the god. No! Open the door! Come on, man. Okay, 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 okay. Dawn, get ready. Get ready, Dawn. And hop! Over the fire and flames. Alright, let's get out of here. This is crazy, man. Let's go. Open the door. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I completely forgot how to get out of here. Fun fact. I think this is the wrong way entirely. Let's just try it.
Come on. Good. Okay, okay, okay. This is kind of nuts. This is this is kind of nuts. We we need to take a second, get a little health back. We are going to drink a little bit of blood, but let's just hit a blood pack. We're not we're not gonna hit an elder pack. We just hit the blood, and we'll be up out. Come on. There we go. Reload, reload, love. Hop up. Let's go. Woo! Open the door. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's. Up. Oh. All right. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Did we do it? Hey. See. That's how you do. That's how you do that superhero leap. Good stuff, girl. And now just get out of here. That was, that was crazy. So let, let's, let, let's think about this for a second. So Alistair Grout was seeing visions of the future and the Malkavian madness was telling him to be wary, to avoid, to, to remove himself from vampiric politics, or at least be wary. They also told him to make a Faustian deal. Now the question is, who did he make a Faustian deal with because um, a vampire hunter showed up. I, I do believe Wolfred von Grapp, whatever the heck his name was, is 100% a vampire hunter who was sent there to kill Grout. But the thing is, or he knew about Grout and vampires, but he didn't kill Grout. So is there another player in, in this who's pulling the strings or what's going on? Because we could assume that he is not to trust LaCroix and all of them were telling him to move away from LaCroix, not to deal with him, not to trust him. So he removed himself from vampiric society. And as he talked to LaCroix, you know, LaCroix was getting wise to him. That's why he sent us to check up on him. But who killed him? We also saw nines disappear a little bit before Grout. So did nines do it? Nines also seemed a little weird. So did he get dominated by someone? This is interesting. Yeah. Never mind that. I need to see LaCroix. Uh, sure. I'll open her up for you. Thanks. Jeez, I could go for one of them double space burgers. With onions, maybe cheese, bacon, guacamole. What? In guacamole? Fun fact, I, I've always avoided guacamole, but I had a little guacamole recently. It's actually pretty good. Like, I actually enjoy guacamole now. All right. Time to give our boss the bad news. Is he going to yell at us? Let's see. The Primogen still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. Grout's dead. Grout's dead? What? Yeah, and this guy Box set his house on fire, nearly killed me. Bach. Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Hmm. Wait. So LaCroix? has uh, okay so the croy is the vampire that bach is on the trail of and every time that he supposedly thought that he lost the scent bach just shows up looking for not only alistair grout but our boss so did our boss drop a dime to have bach go after grout to kill grout and then draw him out but then again it seems like Bach isn't the one to kill Grout. Did Bach show up to kill us? Seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. Big. But like many mortals, their so-called fate is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Um... On my way in, I saw nines leaving the mansion. Oh, I feel bad about doing this. Look at me. Are you sure it was nines, Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? 
Do you really have any idea? I'm assuming it would lead to a hunt on the guy who's challenged your authority multiple times. Hmm. I'm positive it was nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs, right? Why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? I'm glad you find this so amusing. I don't. And do you know why? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. Hmm. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. True. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus. And I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. Lovely. This also is very important, so I need to call upon your skill once more. The Ankaran sarcophagus was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I would like you to bring it back here for safekeeping. You, you know you got a, a really big vampire dude next to you. Y y you know, j just wait a... Let me finish. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. Okay, so you also want me to get a little box too. Okay. I need money. I'm broke from doing dirty work. Yeah, I'm feeling charitable. Good. Hey, 200 bucks. See, Dom? That's how you negotiate. So what do I do now? Now that I'm paid, I'm leaving. I'm through with your hoops. What would happen if we do that? I feel like if we do that, something crazy will go down. Let's just say, so what do we do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mm. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. So says you. You're not out here on the in these... Dark streets at night, man. You're up here in your ivory tower. Oh! Did Grout mention an ivory tower? I know someone said ivory tower before. Uh, keep the keys. I'm going in topside. I keep a few questions first. I'm ready to go. But not through the front door. No keys. No keys needed. I'll find another way. Hmm. No keys needed. I'll find another way. I have a few things I have to prep for, though. I'll be right back. Interesting. This lovely ivory tower. See, I'm upset that he doesn't do anything. Okay, okay, I'm backing off. Apparently he actually is a decent bodyguard. Hmm. You know what I mean, though? Like, McGill and Gorilla can do something. But apparently, no, he's protecting the prince because he's in such... You know, he's in such a bad position. Although... Somebody with the right powers could sneak up on one of many vampires, so, hey, we'll see what's up. I do believe there are some side missions that we can take care of before we go ahead with the prince's crazy plan on getting the Arankar and Sarcophagus back. Thank you all for watching. Please be excellent to each other, and have a nice day. Please come back and tune into the thrilling adventures of dawn the megalomaniac bruja next time when we take care of some side missions thank you all please be excellent and peace